Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3. This is Fire Wizard 23. And in the previous video, we had beaten Magnet Man, this uh, empty box down here. And now we have to fight the next Robot Master. Well, for those who have played Mega Man before, Mega Man 3 before, you know that to if you have the Magnet Missile, the person to fight is this gentleman right over here. Hard Man, so let's go. I'm Hard Man. Uh. <laughs> I suppose it's it's supposed to refer to his actual hard shell of his body, I guess. Alright. So we gotta go through this level. Oh boy. Here come the bugs. Ugh, I always get stung at least once by these little bees. Okay. Oh. Ah. Run, Mega Man, run! Slide! Up we go. Oh, this is kind of cool, what's coming up here. Uh, you'll notice that Mega Man cannot jump here. So this is where one of the newest innovations in the game comes. Oh, uh, by the way, this is the new subscreen I mentioned very briefly in the previous video. Um, so this is a P, which forever took me forever to figure out what P meant. In most video games, that means, like, the number of players or the amount of players' life. In this case, it's actually referring to plasma power, and I have the Mega Man cartoon show to thank for that. I, I honestly didn't know that, that that's what that represented. Uh, then we have the Magnet Missile over here that I got. We have the number of energy tanks I can get. That's a new thing from the second game, but I have no energy tanks. On this next menu, we have something called the Rush Coil, which is the new addition to this game, which is uh, Mega Man's dog, Rush, who in this case, he can help us by giving us a little boost. I still have to do with this guy. So let's go back to our plasma power. And that menu... Um, unlike the first two games, which had the menu in the middle of the screen, that one comes up from the bottom, which I think is kind of sleek. Did this come out 19... I, I want to say... I want to say either 89 or 1990. I don't remember the exact year this game came out. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, got him away from this crazy monkey who's jumping after us. There we go. Run over and grab the energy. Not that tough to fight, it's just annoying. <laughs> Up we go. Go up the ladder. Uh, the game, the enemies in the Mega Man games, they never really were that difficult. They, they never really were meant to be. They are just meant to have something to put... to p get in your way. That's pretty much the only purpose of these enemies. And the classic hard hats, they always make an appearance in every single Mega Man game. Like it's 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 their staple. It's like that's it's not a Mega Man game without the hard hats. <laughs> I thought it was also cool with the hard hats that like every single game they had a different way of attacking. Okay, here is Proto Man again, though they call him Break Man in this game. Kind of weird. I don't really know why they do that, and you'll see the reference to that later. Well, he's, well, he's called Proto Man by the main characters, but there's one point in the game where he's referred to as Break Man. Okay, got through there. Got this guy, who I think is supposed to be an upgrade from the big jumping guys from 1 and 2. Significantly easier to beat in this game. Alright, so here comes Hard Man, so we need the Magnet Missile ready. And we are red, and as custom in the, in the Mega Man games, right up here, you can see the bar that has the amount of Magnet Missile I have available. So let's go fight Hard Man! Not that hard, these uh, knuckles are kind of random, they swing around his hard knuckles. But, basically, he's going to throw two hard knuckles, and he's going to try to jump on us. But, yeah, that's it. <laughs> this game really isn't that hard. But it's th it's still a classic of mine. I, I love this game. And we take in his power, we get his hard knuckle. Very slow weapon, but very strong weapon, too. Out we go. And here we are at the, you got a new items, a new weapon screen. You got hard knuckle. Yeah. And you turn dark blue when you use the hard knuckle his password, but let's just go. I think I have enough time here. I think I can squeeze the next Robot Master in. And in that case, it is Top Man. We used the hard knuckle against Top Man, so let's go. And let's do this very quickly so we can fit it, fit both Robot Masters into the video. He's Top Man. He thinks he's so cool. Let's go. Uh oh screws. <laughs> Ugh. So 
I always call these those little red things. I always call them vacuum. I always call them like vacuum cleaners. <laughs> yeah, this is really easy to get by this guy. Just stay on the ladder and fire. That way you don't have to worry about him dropping the. Uh, oops, just screw that up. Let's try again. You don't have to worry about his uh, tops. Set these streets down. Let's fall down here. Slide. Slide. This room, just walk left. It looks like you would fall, but you won't. A little hint there. Okay, keep going. Sorry if I'm not commenting or anything, but there's really not that much to say. I mean, I think the game pretty much speaks for itself. I'm jumping and avoiding enemies. And I've gotten so used to this game, I pretty much know the, poop, the movement patterns. See, big kitty. Got him. Keep going here. Slide is great for just kind of zipping through the level real quickly. Just stay there and keep firing. That's how you take care of that. And here's another kitty. And he's going to do something different if you can get both of those balls of yarn off the screen, so you got to shoot him quickly. By the way, I am not using a turbo. I am just using the regular button. I'm just tapping it really quickly. All right. Here's another hard hat. Oh, I didn't actually need the energy. Make sure you grab here. <laughs> if you hit those spikes, you won't die, so be careful. Make sure you grab it. Now, this is really tricky. If you land on these wrong... Wait. Well, obviously, it is possible to fall here, but I actually realize it's a different part in the game that I'm thinking of, that the platforms you can die. All right, so here we are. Top man's up ahead. It will always be this kind of room when you're going to fight a boss. Anyone who's played Mega Man knows that. Um, so we've got the hard knuckle ready, and let's go. Here's Top Man. Now, again, the, the pattern here is really predictable. He's going to throw these three tops at you. He's going to attempt to spin to you. He's going to try to spin again. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm making this look easy, but I've played this game so many times, I know the patterns by heart. I know exactly how these guys are going to move. <laughs> so we take his power, we take his top spin. And I was actually looking at some other um, walkthroughs, and actually this um, top spin is a lot more versatile than I thought it was, but we will have to use top spin against one, another robot master. And I think... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have enough time to fit in the next robot master. So, folks, I'm going to pick this up in the next video, and I will see you later. Take care, folks.